Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three in the UK. And today we're gonna to talk about lap books. Um, lap books aren't overly used here. Um, I tend to use them to introduce topics, mainly because uh, my, my children choose our kind of um, non maths and English subjects. So if they're like, hmm, I'm really interested in volcanoes, uh, we will do a lap book on volcanoes. Excuse me, I've got a really itchy nose today. Um, we'll do a lap book on volcanoes, and then if they're still really, really interested in it, then we'll do a full blown, blown project. Sometimes just learning about the stuff to make the lap book is enough, and they feel like they've learned what they need to learn, and we'll move on to something else. And this is kind of how I, one, save energy, I save resources, because I don't want to be printing out like 60 sheets of paper from Twinkle or from another um, resource site if they're gonna do do it for 10 minutes and go, mm, I, I don't wanna know anymore or I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm done now. Um, that's something that's really annoying when that's happened. So we do the lap books, we do a small lap book with not a lot of information on, just enough that they can kind of get a feel for the topic. And if they want to learn more, then we do more. Um, sometimes they're just like, we're good here. So I'm just going to show you some of the resources I picked out for a topic and just an example topic. This isn't one that we're actually going to do at the moment, but I thought it was reasonably easy to show you um, what we, what the kind of things I would use. And then I'm going to show you kind of what I have in my head that it would look like when it was done. Um, obviously the children would probably do it differently, but um, the idea is that they are learning about the topic. So I've chosen the skeleton. Um, it's coming up to Samhain or Halloween. If you're not uh, not practicing um, pagan, then um, you know it's all about skeletons and ghosts and spooky things. And in fact, I spent about twenty pounds in Poundland this morning on Halloween decorations. So uh, um, we've got some resources. I'm going to show them to you. There's a couple of activities in there, and uh, you can have a go with a topic of your own. Okay, so first of all, I've got um, a sheet of A3 paper that I have folded so it looks like a booklet and one side overlaps the other just a little bit. Um, the other, other things I've used before, I've used cardboard document wallets um, and then I've opened them out rather than have the pocket, I've opened them out. They work really well and they're nice and sturdy. Um, I've used A3 paper that has... Um, been put together. I've done two sheets of laminated um, la um, A4 paper and had them together so we can just reuse it and like blue tack the resources on. Like we've done loads of different things before. But today I'm just going to show you this method and then I've got some resources. They are from Twinkle and I know I'm always going on about Twinkle. <clears throat> and we have, first of all, I've picked this. So as you can see, it's just a human skeleton and it's labelled, you've got cranium, mandible, cervical vertebrae, all the correct medical names for them. There's no, you know, um, this is your arm bone or anything like that, or this is your army, it's connected to your handy. There's nothing like that, it's all, you know, you've got the flanges and, and carpal and ulna and everything, all of the different proper names for the bones. And I would sit and talk to them about it, like get Charles to read them. Um, we would talk about what some of the words mean um, and, you know, their um, origins, if they were interested in it. Um, we would try and spot them on ourselves. So I'd be like, hmm, where is my cervical vertebrae? And then get them to touch my cervical vertebrae on me. Or can you touch my mandible? And they can touch my jaw and so on. Or touch their own jaw, it doesn't matter. So then you've got the same resource again, but then you've got the words and you've got the blank skeleton so this would be a joint effort it would either be just charles on his own or it would be charles and bessie because it's a bit old for albert um and then i would get charles to read them and then they could both decide where they would go on the skeleton and then bessie would do the sticking um just to make sure that they both feel like they're contributing and that it's fair for the other person as well then the other one we've got, and I would probably have them do this together as well, um, just to kind of encourage that teamwork aspect again, and it's just putting the skeleton together, so I would allow them to use that as a frame of reference, and then they could put the skeleton together. And then they've also got um, a body jigsaw, which obviously I would cut out for them, 
and then they could stick it together. I would, um, again, it's very easy. They would enjoy that. And I would probably get Albert to do that because he would find that the easiest. So we would do the jigsaw puzzle and then we've got our piece of paper. So we could have a skeleton on, we could have the main skeleton in the middle here. We could have another skeleton down the side or we could have one skeleton here that's kind of overlapping and then the other one here. So I'm just gonna have a little play and I'm going to show you me building this lap book, which means I'm gonna get precious about it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Tick tock, the clock keeps ticking. I don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still Thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you Messed it up and I should have treated you much better So much better I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late I know it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you So what I'm going to do now, I've put one skeleton, the skeleton with the words on the front and the skeleton with the words in the middle. Um, this is exactly what I'd be doing with the children. Obviously, they would be here with me, but they're not with me today. Um, I'm now going to try and do this myself and try and put all of the words in the right place. And then we'll see if I manage to do it right. <laughs> tick tock, the clock keeps ticking. Don't know what I should do. I wish you would be right here with me. I'm thinking of you Thinking of you I'm thinking of you So I've managed all but one, two, three, four and they are all foot and leg bones. Um, I did do anatomy and physiology at university so I did know, I do know most of them, I'm pretty sure of the fact that I've got most of them right but I'm not sure about patella, talus, tibia and fibula. I get confused as to which one is which. I know where they're all supposed to go but I get confused about which one's which. So I'm just going to have a sneaky peek. So I was right on two of them, what I thought they were, and the other ones I had the other way around, so. Well, let's, I'll just do this now. If you're thinking about me too, now it's too late. Now it's too late. I'm out of time. But I'm still thinking of you. So 
there's no right way or wrong way to do a lap book. Um, I had decided that I was going to have it that the children would build the skeleton, that would be one of the activities, but I've decided that I'll do it like this instead. And one, it looks decorative, and two, the children can then label what the particular things are. They can look at the skeleton that they've made already in the middle, and then they can look at what those are and label them as a bit of writing practice for them. And then I can do, they can do the jigsaw on the back. You got me tripping ever since I saw you, I went slipping, didn't even know you, couldn't even breathe without joy. is my skeleton lap book um, obviously it would look completely different if the children were doing it um, I've just knocked one up quickly so you can see what it is especially if you don't know what a lap book is you now do um, it's like it's a little poster that you can open up like a booklet and it kind of shows people what you know shows yourself what you know about a particular topic and as you can see I have put on the back the lovely jigsaw puzzle I have not cut it out because I was like I don't need to do a nine piece jigsaw puzzle and I've written all bodies are different and beautiful I also cut out the bit that said boy girl so this is a lap book and they're reasonably easy to put together on any topic you just need two maybe three activities and that will stick down onto a poster and then you can display them in your house, you can put them in a folder, you put them in a wallet and if you're looking at things of how to um, how to show your work to a local authority if you've agreed to do that, I know quite a few of you have mentioned that to me recently, then this would be a very good example um, of the child showing their learning um, because they have learnt all about the human body in this hero lap book. So this was Adventure All The Way's lap book video. I'm really, really glad that you joined us. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you like this sort of how-to content. Um, I really enjoyed making this lap book quickly for you on a Monday afternoon and I'm really excited to share the videos that are coming up in the next few weeks. Um, remember that next Monday is gonna be a really cool video. We have got a Halloween activity vid video in partnership with Twinkle, where you have a chance to win a three month subscription. So if you missed out on the recent Home Educator discount, this is the one for you. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. On Monday, and Thursday uh, because I am doing home ed videos for a month. Two videos a week, all home ed. So don't forget to come back and I will see you on Thursday. Have a great week. Bye! Say it to me